Hello everyone, we are factorizing by grouping like terms. Number one, we look at the first two terms ax and bx. Both of them have a common factor x, so we take that out. And we factorize out the x, giving us a plus b on the inside of the brackets. Okay. We now look at the other two terms, ay and by. Both of them have a common factor, y, which we factor out. So we have plus y times a plus b. Okay, we are not finished yet. Both of these terms have a common factor, which is the bracketed term a plus b. This is what we take out. A plus B and if we factor out A plus B from the first term we will have X remaining so we will decide to write X plus Y since we factored out A plus B so this is the answer for number 1 let's go to number 2 now if we look at number 2, we have 4ny minus 5py plus 5px minus 4nx. Let's look at the first two terms. We have y as a common factor, so we take that out. If we take y out, we will remain with 4n here minus, and we take y out y into y is 1, so we have 5p. We want to get the same bracket over here, 4n minus 5p so we have to ask ourselves what do we take out what do we multiply by 4n to get minus 4nx the answer is minus x okay so now that we have the same brackets 4n minus 5p and 4n minus 5p we can take that out And if we factor all this from the first term in brackets, we'll have y. And we factor it out from the second term, we have minus x. This is the answer for number 2. Let's move on to number 3. 8ap plus 2bq plus 2pb plus 8aq. Let's factor the two middle terms. So we have, they have both of them have the common factor 2b, which we take out. 2b into 2bq will leave q remaining plus 2b into 2pb will leave p remaining and we have 8ap over here plus 2bq plus 8aq so let's put the 8ap and the 8aq together Okay. let's factor this now taking out 8a we'll have p plus q plus 2b by p plus q we can write q plus p as q as p plus q so our final answer for this we'll have to factor out the p plus q And on the inside, we'll have 8a plus 2b. Okay. That's our final answer for number 3. Let's look at number 4 now. If we look at the first two terms, we do not have any common factors. The letters are all different. Look at the first and third term, and we see we have some common letters. And also the common factor of 3. So let's rewrite this expression. Putting the like terms next to each other. Okay, so now 
let us factor 3 t squared from the first two terms so we will get 2y here 3 into 6 is 2 get 2y plus 3t squared into 3t squared x will cancel the 3t squared result in an x so we want to get 2y plus x in brackets so we simply factor out the z term because that is what they have in common so we have z here and if we take out the z we factor out the z we have x plus 2y on the inside now that we have the same two brackets and the first two terms we take out that bracket as the common factor and then we'll have 3t squared remaining plus z that will go in the other bracket this is our final answer thanks for watching